I am not suggesting that you go skydiving without a parachute, go driving at 200 miles an hour with the airbags turned off and no seatbelt, and I'm not suggesting you go and stand in a football stadium full of 40,000 fans without a mask during the COVID crisis. I'm not suggesting you do nothing, go nowhere, don't achieve and don't fail. I'm asking you to consider having a go and potentially failing along the way. You see, when you've got a reason why you must achieve, you tend to overcome your fears of procrastination and doing nothing or giving in at the slightest test or hurdle. Let me give you some examples. How about um, someone who's wanted to run a marathon, but instead of just pulling the duvet over at 5am when it's freezing cold outside and hitting snooze on the alarm because they've got a reason to run that marathon. Maybe it's running, um, raising money, running to raise money for a mother and baby unit or a cancer charity or a cause that burns deep in their heart. They get out of bed on that cold, miserable Sunday morning when it's dark and freezing cold and chocking it down with rain because their reason to go training in the rain is bigger than their fear of failure. You see, Virgin Records, yeah, how bad do you want it? Virgin Records, let's talk about Virgin Records. Sir Richard Branson, he started his business empire by selling old vinyl records whilst he was at university. They tried to stop him, they tried to shut him down, kick him out. In the end, he left university to carry on the business, to overcome the doubters. Look what happened. Then there's Bezos, the guy who started Amazon. He started selling second-hand books in his garage, for goodness sake. Look what he's achieved by overcoming the doubters because he believed it in here as well as in here. Then there's Susan Boyle. Do you remember her, the singer on, um, what was it, X Factor or something, or Britain's Got Talent? This, with respect, this rather cumbersome, built like me, lady from Scotland, walked on. Most people all her life had told her that she'd amount to nothing. She was the mad cat woman from her Scottish town. But she had a belief. She stood up and she sang. And the whole audience were on their feet. Why? Because in that moment, she had a reason why she must to overcome that fear of failure. So have a reason why you must. Be prepared to fail occasionally, but get up, brush yourself down and go again. Go skydiving, but wear a parachute. Go driving 200 miles an hour, but wear a seatbelt and have the airbag switched on. Go into crowds wearing a mask once they allow us to do that. But do something. Go somewhere. Achieve. Keep trying. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos. Then click the TV to watch the next video. Oh, and don't forget to visit our website at davidheiner.com to claim your free audiobook. Until the next time, go Rhino. Have in it.